apologize uh, in advance. So, thanks. Um, so, what happened to it? Oh, there we go. So, one thing that I wanted to talk to everybody about today was about being more daring. Um, you know, we're a PR firm. We work specifically with a lot of startups and tech companies. Uh, we get up calls from from people from across the country asking them for help with their com their company and help them get media attention specifically outside of their region uh, in a national sense. And so, kind of coming at this from from the context of you know, in terms of Baltimore companies, you know, what can we do? in order to really get that attention and really earn the, the, the recognition that I think a lot of Baltimore companies uh, deserve. And really the answer to me is, is being daring. Um, you know, Baltimore has got a, we have a really great community here, uh, got a great talent pool. Um, we're really close to about two thirds of the nation's economy. I think probably what's more interesting about Baltimore is that we've got a really quirky culture. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of really interesting people that, Inside and outside the tech, the tech community, and um, I, I think you know what we need as a community is to actually tap into that more frequently and, and stronger to to really uh, uh, evoke a, a national or a, a, excuse me evoke a local voice and bring that to a national uh, larger audience. Um, I think embracing this this sort of quirky culture can really you know help us push the innovation envelope. Um, help us push ideas, push, push boundaries, push the envelope. Uh, I said that right, sorry. Um, and also, I think additionally, you know, help us take some bigger risks, you know. Um, being daring can really help us attract attention from outside of Baltimore, uh, outside of the region. And uh, really, I, one thing that I'm sure everybody here has faced at some point or the other, when you talk to somebody from outside the region, and you say, oh, I'm from Baltimore, and they say, what do they say? Oh, the wire, <laughs> right. And I think, the more we embrace this quirky culture and the more we can be daring and get that recognition, the more people will say, oh, Baltimore's the place where smart people are. So I wanted to share um, some examples. Some, one is from our, one of our clients, uh, as well as one from, it's not a client, that I just also thought was very interesting. So um, who found a, a Baltimore company, they built, if you're not familiar with them, they built a sort of this rapid personality assessment tool. They're deploying it. Uh, you know, across a variety of industries. Uh, right now, they're working with a lot of universities and colleges in their career development centers. Um, you know, I think WooFound's a really great example because they've really dared to push their idea as far as it can go. When they first launched, they wanted to build an app and it was very consumer facing. It was still a very novel and interesting idea, but, you know, they needed to keep pushing it and pushing it further. Um, and that really just, I think, by being really daring, it's really allowed them to conquer new audiences, and they're just kind of just getting started, really. But they it's allowed them to conquer new audiences, um, and obviously let them, it, it's attracted a lot of uh, media attention from, from outside of our region, from national and important trade publications. You know, people really start to sit up and pay attention to what they're doing. Um, so another example is, is not a, a client, uh, the Camp Gyno. Have you guys all seen this video? This Hello, it, it, when you get a chance, uh, go look up Hello Flow. Uh, this video was a very daring video that was, uh, that was released uh, this summer, really in a head. Um, but it really, I think, highlights this sort of sense of, of be, that I'm trying to express here of being daring. So basically, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of like a, a mail order tampon delivery service for young women. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of how their business <laughs> works, but they put out this really, really funny video. It's this 12-year-old girl who was, quote, the camp gyno, and, you know, she kind of gets put out of business by this company. And, you know, it got six million views. It got a ton of media coverage. It was really a really in-your-face kind of video in a tasteful way, not distastefully, I don't think. But it's, it was really, really daring. So by, by daring, I'm really talking about two different things. I'm talking about you know, coming up with bold ideas, kind of like we found, and, and pushing, pushing your ideas as far as they can go into as many directions, but also how you talk about your companies and talking about that, your companies in a, as daring a way as possible. And that's what's really going, I think, to uh, get people more attuned to what Baltimore is doing and get us out of the wire. By the way, I was in France this summer and I took a cab ride. And uh, the guy asked me where I was from, and I said, Baltimore. He said, You must be a real badass because of all that. So, 
you know, a couple of ideas of, of how to be more daring, just real quick, is, you know, get outside of your box, you know, and you hear this a lot in a lot of startup talk, get outside your comfort zone. Um, it's really, really true. Just, you know, do something that's different, that's out of your ordinary, whether it's read a book or read a magazine that you're not used to reading, you know, uh, or, you know, better yet, I think going to talk to people, going to talk to your customers or your prospective customers, it's, like, it's going to give you a huge amount of insight and give you a, a sense of what it's, what it's going to take to get their attention. Um, another thing that I've done a lot in the last year is visiting other startup scenes and getting to see kind of what other kind of ideas are out there. I think as in, sometimes in Baltimore we tend to be a little very uh, introspective in some ways. And to some degree that's good, but, but we, I think it's really important to get a sense of what else is going on in other communities. And I'm not necessarily talking about just the Valley and New York and Boston. I mean, you know, I'm going next week actually to Cincinnati uh, for the Everywhere Else conference. Um, and you know, I'm excited about getting to meet people that you know, are from a completely different region. Cincinnati has a lot in common with Baltimore as a post-industrial city. Um, and, uh, and so anyway, my advice to you is just to kind of get out there and, and see what else is going on out there. Um, you know, another exercise that I would recommend that we do a lot with our clients is try to imagine what's, what's their personality and try to figure out the personality of their product and their company and kind of you know, figure out ways that we can, you know, bring that out into the real world. So for example, we were working with a, uh, uh, a root planning software company, and we we're working with them right now to develop a, a, a pub crawl for a trade show that they're going to, where it's going to really, it's going to be fun, it's going to really highlight you know, their software. So think, think in other ways. Uh, you know, just think about your company's personality, how you can be, you know, like I said, more daring, and how you can really get out there. So thanks. Appreciate it.